Today, I'm here with a really exciting guest. We've got Guy here from Supersonic with Unity. He's here to share with us a really exciting opportunity for Unity developers. Before we get into the really exciting part, can you tell everybody just a little bit about who you are and what Supersonic is? Uh, for sure. First of all, uh, Jason, uh, thank you for having me. So Supersonic uh, from Unity is a mobile game publishing studio. So uh, this is the uh, publishing uh, powerhouse. Uh, basically launched approximately five years ago. And nowadays, uh, standing on probably six, 6.4 uh, billion downloads uh, worldwide. So started uh, hitting waves from uh, hypercasual uh, and now slowly integrated um, uh, together with our partners to the hybrid casual uh, realm. Um, about me a little bit. So I'm a guy, I'm game designer uh, in Supersonic. I used to be a game designer at Plarium. Um, so we're happy for, uh, for this uh, opportunity. This is exciting. So Supersonic does publishing of a bunch of Unity games and with Unity. But this thing that you're here to share with us today is um, somewhat related to Super Pitch. So can you tell everybody what that is and why they should be excited and why they should pay attention right now? Because it is very time specific, right? So basically how it goes is we give uh, developers the opportunity to pitch their ideas about games. But we're not talking about any games. We're talking about games in the hybrid casual realm. So first of all, let's establish real quick, like what is hybrid casual? Because uh, sometimes we tend to uh, speak a lot of terms that uh, nobody understands. <laughs> so basically hybrid casual, it's kind of like the mature games of hyper casual. Basically it's a business model, much like hyper casual used to be. Uh, we're talking about really simple games that focus mostly on the core gameplay, but give a little bit of extra edge. Their monetization model uh, should be revolving not just uh, uh, ad monetization, also on inner purchases. So basically, we're looking about mixtures, mixture of 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 both uh, uh, monetization uh, methods. Um, but still, we're looking about like the it, it's it's about dragging the marketability side from the hyper casual realm, uh, but try to get some more complexity to this uh, mixture. Um, so basically, regarding super pitch, uh, super exciting uh, um, uh, for us. It's uh, getting a lot of ideas from developers. We are talking about mostly mobile, like we're not going to publish for a uh, PC or console. Um, nevertheless, if you are a PC or console developer and you want to do, to do mobile games, so go ahead. Um, so basically, we are going over all of the ideas and then uh, only eight of the chosen ones will get the opportunity to go live with us. Uh, six experts from all realms like monetization, economy, game design, product, you name it. It's an amazing opportunity. I used to be a developer myself, so um, that's that's it. And hopefully one of them, even some of them, will get published. So amazing. Yeah, I think it's a really good opportunity. And I think you've kind of laid out the types of games and platforms you're looking for. Can you um, just tell everybody like where you're expecting them to be development-wise and team size-wise as well? Does it need to be a giant team or a solo yeah. dev or they need to have something already ready or in the idea phase? Just give them a good idea there. Yeah, so amazing question. Uh, uh, listen, Hyper casual used to be like uh, you can be a solo developer and it will be all right. Probably you will, if you have the good marketability, you watch a nice trend on TikTok. So you probably going to make uh, millions. And nowadays when you're talking about hybrid, uh, they are simple games, but they, it, it requires more, more thinking. It's not just, uh, it's not just that. For instance, if you go puzzle, uh, we are talking about like, uh, you should aim for it to have a level designer, at least a game designer, someone from the ideation, from and not just from the ideation, from the entire uh, user experience wise. Uh, we're talking about difficulty curves and, and economy. Um, so we we are talking about. I, I would say like the the best uh, the best ones would be something around the three plus people. Um, I would say like span your. Um, your expertise, like uh, the diversity a little bit, go with uh, developers, go with designers, go with artists, because art also matters. 
we know that like we're looking for pitches so we understand that most of the ideas will be raw um, but we, we want to get like from your pitch we want to get the opportunity to understand what, what is the idea what will happen in the game and uh, maybe the look and look and feel of it uh, especially to understand the core game loop real fast real quick and uh, it should be easy to pick upon um, and if you have any plans to uh, have a meta layer or a side loop you should uh, keep it in mind. So you need to explain how it will inter, uh, interconnect, uh, both uh, thematically, mechanically, uh, and even econom economy-wise. Um, ob obviously, like um, I think it's like um, it, it goes without saying, but let's just say it uh, out loud. Obviously, visuals help, like mockups, wireframes. Uh, even if you if you have any playable to help us, like get the notion of the game so uh, but it's not a must yeah but but still uh it would make a lot for us and if somebody is interested because i assume there are going to be quite a few people watching who are um can you tell them what the process is like because it's pretty spelled out and i think pretty straightforward what they need to do and i also think you mentioned before being able to explain the game in like a sentence it's kind of an important being able to get that across, but you actually have a full process, right? Can you tell everybody what that is and then what they could expect afterwards? Um, for sure. Like, f first of all, um, I just want to stress it out that uh, uh, on our website, we have the uh, template for the pitch. So you can download it from there. Um, if you follow the template, everything that us, everything that we need to do to, to grab from your game, it's there, so just uh, follow on that lead. So basically, um, we get a lot of uh, requests already. Um, I'm talking about a lot. <laughs> and at the moment, we're trying to kind of um, find uh, the best of them, like uh, the, the ones that uh, work with publishers, the one that knows a little bit about the hybrid casual realm, the, the ones that... Um, team size matters, like the ideation matters, everything matters. Um, so we're kind of screening the, the, on the screening process at the moment. Then um, basically eight of them will get the opportunity, will get the summoning to, to um, follow like a, a quick uh, Zoom calls with us. Um, we're talking about like six uh, experts uh, that they know games for a long, long, long time. Um, we're talking about monetization-wise and economy and everything. So uh, after, upon this call, uh, we will sit together and try to think who would be the best suit for us. Uh, and then we'll get uh, in touch with you and we'll start the process. So the process starts from uh, the initial, uh, uh, initial test of prototyping and stuff. Uh, we want to check early KPIs, we want to check retention rates, playtime, uh, even, of course, CPI, because marketability still matters. Um, but still, like, we, after this uh, a wonderful uh, opportunity to have this, uh, um, this chase, so amazing. Yeah, I think this is a really good opportunity and something that anybody who's got some ideas should jump in and, and take advantage of. And uh, the other thing I just wanted to mention is even if you don't get in, like don't get picked in the top eight, doing this pitching is one of the most important skills, especially if you want to be an indie developer, being able to pitch your games and pitch it to publishers, super, super important. You see all kinds of people talk about it all the time, and this is a good opportunity to actually try it and get some feedback on how your pitch was and possibly even get a get a publishing option who knows um, it's definitely worth a shot and um i think everybody should should go for it if you got an idea Do you have any uh, final words for everybody before we go whatever the genre is because we haven't covered specific genres i i would like you if you if you pitch us so try to go over try to do some research regarding hybrid casual uh, try to know what is what is basically this uh, magnific magnificent beast uh but whatever genre is on, on top of hybrid casual, we would like to see some bold mechanics uh, executed with polish. It's not about showing depth. Uh, it's about sorry. It's about showing depth and clarity, and vision quite early. But 
I would like to say that you talked about the uh, indie developers. I used to be an indie, develop indie developer myself, uh, fortunately. Um, but sometimes as an indie developer, you get caught a lot in the gameplay itself and you, uh, you be become an amazing game designer. But sometimes you tend to forget regarding like the business model, the monetization model. So it is extremely important uh, to have to, to keep it in mind. And this is why I, we would like you to understand what is hybrid casual, what is the main process there, what is the mixture between both monetization models, and what is your game is more opt to. Um, anything like uh, anything left to say is that I extremely agree with Jason. This, this is a wonderful opportunity, even if you won't get big, like just to get like the information from the experts, uh, this is, is go a great mile for you, for everyone. So uh, good I luck to you all. Yeah, I completely agree there. I think this is a good chance for them to get in there and remember it also to like I said, think about the money side because making games is fun, but you also have to make money to be able to keep making games. Right? So yeah, yeah. That's definitely an important thing. Well, thanks yeah. again, Guy. I really appreciate you coming out here and sharing this info. I'll send uh, everybody go over to supersonic.com slash super pitch and just fill it out. We'll link it down below. But if you have if you're listening or something, you can't watch, just go fill out the pitch. Go check out those games. Um, I'll try to get a big list of them and put them in the description too so you can get some good examples of things to go try out uh, if you're not sure. But yeah, excited. Thanks again, Guy. And thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.